Finally tonight, my next guests have just completed an incredible physical and mental challenge. Brothers Greg Bailey and Jude Macy have just completed a 3,000 mile unsupported row across the Atlantic Ocean. Yeah, they're pretty knackered to tell you the least. And the 53 day voyage was in memory of their dad Peter who died from skin cancer back in 2015. And it was far from plain sailing, excuse the pun, with the pair experiencing a succession of equipment failures, extreme pain and near misses with sharks. Well, um, Greg and Jude, thanks so much for coming down. I know you, you probably just want to be in your bed forever right now, <laughs> so thanks for coming down on Five News tonight. And as I said, you had to deal with sharks chasing you, sleep deprivation, um, all sorts, um, your boat capsizing. I have to say, I'm most impressed with the fact you did that on a vegan diet. Um, Greg, what, why is that? What, what, are, you, are you vegans? Well, I'm a vegetarian and my brother's vegan, but we just thought it'd be easier if we both uh, do that on a vegan diet. And... Um, Basically, um, it, it was perfectly fine, and that's one of the challenge. That's one of the things we were trying to challenge um, in the concept of veganism. Is actually you can get all the protein you need, all the calories you need, uh, in a vegan diet and be perfectly healthy. As Jude, just talk us through. It was 53 days together with your brother alone and dealing with so much. And what exactly did you have to deal with it? Oh, all sorts. Um, it went through from losing our water maker, which is a vital piece oh. of equipment. Um, to, to make water so you can hydrate yourself from losing our GPS, which meant that we had about a day where we didn't know where we were in the ocean. And, um, you know, as brothers, I think that's the great thing about our challenge is that we did do it together. And uh, I don't think I could have done it with anyone else because we lent on each other so much for that emotional support. So it was really vital. I, I feel so comfortable to be doing it with Greg. And as I said, you were doing this um, in memory of your dad and um, sadly passed away from skin cancer and you're doing this raising money um, for, for skin cancer research. Yeah, that's absolutely right. So Peter Massey was my stepfather, my brother's father, and he died um, when Jude was 16 whilst he was sitting his GCSEs. And um, the family was grieving and struggling and we just thought this would be a great way to focus and come together as a family to try and make a difference through raising £100,000 for skin cancer research for the British Skin Foundation, whilst also raising awareness of this illness. It's the number one most common cancer in the UK uh, when you include the uh, basal and squamous cell uh, carcinoma into the diagnostic category. And with simple measures, you can prevent this and lower your risk. Um, you can lower your risk of developing this cancer. So um, we're nearly there. We're currently at 88,000, so a little way to go and very excited to do uh, lots of talks around the country. 88,000, not bad. And, and Jude, you broke some records along the way, didn't you? Yes, so I'm the youngest person to row any ocean in a pair. Um, I found out that I'd be able to break this record about halfway across. Mum told me on the sat phone. And when I heard that, the, the feeling of wanting to finish was so strong that I just completely <laughs> like, come on, blocked Greg, out get your finger out. Let's do this. Come on. Suddenly. I, was, I cannot think about this um, until we, we arrive, until we finish, because something can happen in a click um, and it, it can all go wrong. So, you know, we capsized uh, at one point and the whole boat turned over. Um, and that happened, we didn't even realise when, you know, it was so quick when it happened that you have no chance to, to react. So that's why I just could never look forward to anything on that boat. And you, you said you spoke to your mum. Were you able to speak to her very regularly? Because she was terrified. She said she was so worried that it was when, she, when you guys set off, mm. it was the last time she was going to see you alive. And she was ecstatic to see you guys back. Yeah, if record you're listening, no <laughs> no, if you're listening, Mum, I'm really sorry for what we've been through. <laughs> um, but um, we got about five minutes a day with Mum, and she put on such a brave face. We didn't realise until we got back, but she's just as uh, she's the real hero in this. She's she's helped us every step of the way. So. so, so what next for you guys then? Have you got the taste for for rowing ocean? Rowing I have the ocean? taste for adventure, not necessarily rowing another ocean for me. But I know that Greg <laughs> definitely is interested in. Uh, Aren't you? You're interested. Uh, perhaps um, we just just want to focus on all the work we're doing for the British Skin Foundation at the moment, mm -hmm. and uh, say a big thank you to all of our sponsors, supporters, and fans. And um, who knows what the future will hold? So basically, no rowing just yet, but lots and lots of adventure for you guys. Definitely. Well, for you definitely, Jude. Definitely, oh, definitely. Right, definitely. Jude, Greg, really good talking to you. It must be so lovely just being back on, on dry land and not facing sharks as well. Thanks both for joining me. Thank you. Me. Thank you.